working our way through the, the variety of tax issues that we have on foot at the moment is taking a lot of time, a lot of intellectual energy and uh, a lot of help from a number of people around the industry. It's very complex, so we have different tax aspects on foot. So first of all, we worked with the government last year to produce the Managed Investment Trust Scheme, which most and certainly all of our smaller buyout organisations can opt into. So they opt in as managed investment trusts and then they can opt to put all of the investors' gains on the capital account. So that now covers a, a large proportion of the industry and investors in those particular funds are very comfortable and satisfied that they, they have a clear and ongoing solution to their problem. At the larger end, and particularly for those with a large number of foreign investors, whether that's the large Aussie domestic funds or the large regionals who invest in, and have a presence here in Australia, um, for those it's still a, a, an ongoing battle. Um, we are working very closely with the tax office. I had a very productive four hours with them yesterday, um, which is getting places. So it's looking at helping them be assured that our investors are both organisations of high integrity and predominantly reside in tax treaty countries. And those two parts of the assurances that they will require to then back off and say, OK, we get it, you pay tax somewhere, um, you're not just the Pirates of the Caribbean. And, and I'm lucky to be working with the professionals, the Institute of Chartered Accountants and the Tax Institute in helping the tax office come to those understandings and giving them a process that will give them ongoing comfort. I hope then that the investors will in turn be comforted that we have a process, they can now see how it's all going to work and where they stand.